Hello, welcome to IT Security Guru, I'm Dan Raywood. Now, a couple of very interesting stories I've come across my desk in the last 24 hours here at IT Security Guru. You'd have read yesterday about Centrify. They managed to smack down, literally, a targeted attack attempt earlier this year when they revealed that within two hours of an email being received, they managed to actually detect it and actually inform the FBI. And uh, what I think the story proved was the capability of actually how a connected um, office, connected work environment can actually work for the business of the business because the person who received the email and alerted the CFO, alerted the CEO, alerted the security company, they were a security vendor centre of violence, they weren't going to and they did it the right thing and it was uh, defeated and uh, very technical yeah. attacks, do read the story there. But a very interesting story appeared uh, this morning and it came from the uh, Detroit News. Now the story came from the mayor, Mike Duggan, the mayor of Detroit obviously, and he announced at a conference on Monday that a government uh, database was attacked earlier this year. Uh, it was frozen by an attacker and held for ransom. That uh, attack was after 2,000 bitcoins. Uh, works out about $803,000. And um, you know, the ransom it turns out the ransom wasn't paid. They, they held firm. They said, no, we will not pay. We will do the right thing. And uh, not as it turned out, actually, that, that wasn't particularly critical data. So they were able to get away with it. And the, the back has actually banked down. So. Conversations I've had about ransomware have been very interesting in all these terms. A lot of people say, first thing, don't pay. To Tom Cross earlier this year, they got a video. He actually said the first thing about ransomware, don't pay. Why should you pay? What they're going to do, they're going to delete it. If you've got backup, you've got no problem. You can re-image your machine if they've frozen your database. Do the right thing. And um, in the day, you know, the hacker says, you must pay me this amount of money. Well, what's the stop saying? Well, actually, you paid me once, why don't you pay me again? It's a very tricky situation. With this Detroit situation, though, uh, the Michigan uh, state government said it suffered more than half a million computer attacks each year, and um, well, obviously this was one of them, and uh, this one was actually quite successful. They're now rolling out new um, initiatives, new security technologies, so hopefully that's going to work better for them. Now the mayor did say it was a good warning sign for us. Sometimes you need a little bit of a warning, a little bit of a stir up to make you think a bit more realistically about the sort of environment you're working in. Obviously, it's going to be the case with Centrify as well. So um, maybe if these stories have done nothing else this week, then maybe maybe you think maybe it's time to back up, time to re-image, or just check that people are talking to each other in the organisation properly. So for IT Security Guru, I'm Dan Raywood.